Hey guys, it's Link Plays Games. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. So we are still aboard the SS Anne. Uh, going through these Pokemon battles. I gotta heal up first. I believe it's this room. Alright, perfect. I love how they have a way to heal up on the SS Anne because I'm pretty sure if you leave ship, uh, it just it goes away. It's gone for good. So you have no choice but to kind of stay on the ship. Ooh, a peach berry. Alright. Oh, is this guy gonna try to fight me? I don't want to be fought. I just want the berries and all the other stuff that's in the trash cans. Because <laughs> I'm nosy. I guess it would be berries in the trash cans. Because you are in the kitchen and they're like cooking for everybody on the ship. Ooh. A great ball. Alright. Interesting place to put that in the kitchen. But that- I guess that works. Let's go upstairs. Okay, I don't want to battle with you. Let's go all the way to the end and we'll work our way back. Never mind. Alright, so... 40 different kinds. Cool. I guess we're fighting Cass again. Uh, is it just me or do you fight your rival a lot more in the older games than you do the newer ones? Because I feel like we're fighting Cass a lot, and, you know, for those who know, I've played Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for a good bit. I haven't finished the game. I got to the Elite Four, and I was going to defeat it, and I was working hard on it. I was doing good, and then I just... Things have been going on, and I just really couldn't pull myself to finish it, you know? A lot of people are gonna be like, really? Like, you just can't? Honestly, no. It's like, I have no interest to. Like, I've never not wanted to defeat a Pokemon game, but like, I don't know. It, I guess it's just my brain, you know? Um, but anyways. So, yeah. Anyone else feel like you fight your rival more in the older games. I want to see the comment section blown up with what your opinions are and why you think it is that we have to fight our rival so much. Like, I feel like the newer games you get more Team Rocket or Team whatever, you know, is the big bad. Because it felt like it was non-stop with, uh, what is it, Team Plasma in Pokemon Diamond? I feel like you were non-stop fighting them, so you weren't fighting your rival as much. And in this game, I don't- I think we've only fought Team Rocket, like, twice. I know there's gonna be one part of this where it's, like, non-stop fighting Team Rocket, but that's- that's not why we're here. <laughs> you know? Um... I don't know, is it just me? Am I- am I crazy? Alright, will I change Pokemon? Uh, yeah. Gotta throw out the Magikarp. Because I want a Gyarados. I wanna say it's at level 20 that we get a Gyarados, guys. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, you come back. Blue goes out. Hyper Fang. That's great. Um... Alright, so this... Maybe I'd be able to one-shot. I should be able to. Like, look at the level difference. And I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna try again. That Hyper Fang, though. That is, like, killing me. Alright, so... Perfect. About to use Kadabra. Will I change Pokemon? Of course, send out the Magikarp. I don't know why I didn't give Magikarp a nickname. I gave all the other ones. I guess I guess I got tired of the nicknames. I don't know. I really need to nickname the Magikarp. Maybe once it turns into a Gyarados, we can go and give it a nickname. Who knows? Try to use Disable. The Audacity. Uh, Confusion's not very effective. Oh, that's, that's not good. It would have been fine if that got Disable. Please. Please work. Okay. 
What? I poisoned him for him to poison me? That's some bull right there. Okay, use. Ooh. Yikes. Okay. Is confusion... Like, it's obviously not super effective on bug type, but I feel like it has been, like, effective. Like, very much so. Okay, let's try to knock this out. Yeah, obviously it's gonna fail. I just changed out Pokemon because mine died because I poisoned myself. Alright. Player defeated. Good. Cast needs to get out of here. Ooh, Magikarp's evolving. Nice. Perfect timing. Look at that. Oh, I miss the old school, like... Uh, the evolutions or the... The little... Uh, evolution cutscene or whatever it is. I missed that. Okay. He was a seasick old man. Blah blah blah. Okay, smell you later. Yeah, okay. Kind of creepy that Cass wants to smell me later, but you know, whatever. You? Why'd I look in the trash can? <laughs> look at me being a good person, rubbing the captain's back. Also, why would you become a. S why would. Why why would you choose that as your career if you get seasick? You know they have those seasick like armbands. I could have sworn. Wasn't that a thing? I could have sworn. I could have so sworn that I also missed how they they do the TMs. How the new games do it, I like it, but I don't. Because you really don't necessarily need to know the move in order to use it anymore. Because as soon as you like defeat the gym leader and it unlocks for you to use, a wild Pokemon like comes and helps you instead. So your party does not need to know it. And that was that was what made it challenging, is because you had to have a Pokemon that could use those moves, so if you needed those moves, yeah, it was frustrating, but it was it was a good thing. And of course it was like unlimited, so if you didn't have someone in like you didn't have a Pokemon in your party that already knew the move, you had to try to like find one that did know the move. And yeah, sometimes you got like the world's greatest moves and like you wouldn't trade them for the world and like you need a Pokemon that uses cut. And that was aggravating. But like that's what made it challenging, I feel like. Instead, it's just- it Has Pokemon just gotten too easy? Because I also realized it's taken me a while to defeat this game, but like, for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, it didn't take me too long to get to the Elite Four, I think. Given I didn't play it, like, a lot, like a long time, any of the days that I played it, but I played it, like, you know, every once in a while. This looks like a bad idea. Oh, okay. I thought I was fixing to have a, a double fight. Um, but... I think my hours in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond are, like, close to 30. And as someone who works, like, 40 hours a week, that don't seem like much to me anymore. I'm pretty sure I still put more time into my YouTube channel than I do, you know, with that. So, like, I didn't play it that much. At most, I played maybe, like, five hours a day at best. So, like, six days. I spent a week on it. I remember, like, right now, it has taken me over... So far from what I've recorded, I think I spent over two weeks on it. Which is saying a lot. You know, I feel like in this game I've already got the 30 hours that I've already taken to defeat Brilliant Diamond. But I also did a lot more grinding in this one because you have to level up your Pokemon like individually versus level them up all together at one time because of the new feature. But like I said, 
that makes it easier. So... <laughs> I don't know. What What's your guys' takes on uh, Leaf Green versus uh, Brilliant Diamond and all the newer remakes? Sorry for the time jumps, guys. I had to cut through some of these Pokemon battles because this recording was a bit long. And for some reason, my account does not like to let me upload long videos, nor does it, you know, behave well when it comes to uh, just uploading in general. I think it's the Wi-Fi. It's not my account, it's, you know. So, unfortunately, I gotta- any videos that are over 15 minutes, I've got to try to cut down as best as I can. Which sucks, because I do have a lot of, like, 20, 25 minute videos, and I used to love to upload those when it was easy to upload them. Uh, right now, it's not as easy. Alright, so... Get seasick. I feel like a lot of people get seasick on this ship, apparently. Alright. So now we're gonna go... No, no more battles? Okay, cool. That sucks. Let's go ahead and heal up. Look tired. Yep. I want to rest. Perfect. Now let's go... Is there anything else to explore? I've been all through here. Okay, no battle. Wait, really? None of them would have battled me? Hold on. I really thought that I was, like, gonna have to battle with- okay. In most games, you would have to battle all of them. I'm confused. I saw a berry in the trash. Yeah, I've already taken it out. Okay. I love how they made all the chefs uh, French. That that's an interesting take. Though I guess French people are known for you know cuisine and whatnot. I don't, I don't know. Oh okay yeah. So as soon as I stepped off, there would be no going back. Noted. But all right, let's go ahead and. That was odd that I had a transition right there. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the Pokemart and we need, we need to get some items. And so let me just time jump it. And there we go. Okay, so unfortunately we are at the end of this episode, guys. In the next one, we will be taking on this next gym. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.